This video will cover getting set up with EndNote X9 on a Windows. After installing EndNote from the Pace University website, you can open EndNote and it will appear similar to what I have on screen. You will have to create a new library, which is where all references will be stored. To do that, click File, New, and you can name your library so it is easily identifiable or leave it as the default myEndnoteLibrary.eml. Once the EndNote library has been created, you will see a few columns visible with two panels on the right side. If you would like to change this view, you can do so by going to the bottom right of the EndNote window where you will see a small layout button. Click that and you can change the view. In this video, we will be using the bottom split view, so the panels will be located on the bottom of the screen. Next, you can modify the filters available on the top of the screen. It will start you off with the following, but you can change these to fit your information needs. To change them, right-click on one of the filters. So in this case, I'll be click, right-clicking on author. If you're using a laptop, it would be two-finger click from here, all of the, a lot of them will be grayed out. That means I have the maximum amount of filters already selected. So I would have to deselect some filters before I can add additional. So in this case, I'll be unselecting red and unread status and rating. And I will replace those with name of database, and database provider. And adding these two filters, I can click and drag them to relocate them so they aren't at the very start. And those two filters are recommended so that you can easily identify which databases your references came from without having to rerun a search. To change citation styles, you can do so by clicking on the drop down menu on the top left of the screen. When you first start with EndNote, it will start you off in annotated. Please note that this annotated format will simply copy the abstract of the reference and is not a proper annotation. So you can select uh, from a variety of citation styles. And if the style you want is not listed in this dropdown, you can click select another style and on the next screen, you'll see a long list of styles available for you to pick. To select a style, simply click on the style and click Choose. And now if you go to the top, you'll see the selected citation style. And if you click on the drop-down menu, it has been added to that list. Finally, EndNote has their own folder system called Groups. You can organize your references into their own groups and group sets to help organize your references. All groups must be placed in a group set, and all group sets must have groups assigned to them to hold references so that they can be organized. To create a group set, go to the top of the screen and click Groups. Further down the list, you'll see create group set and you can click on that and it will generate a group set for you to name. In this example, I will be naming it nursing. Notice there are no groups underneath that. So I will have to create groups and assign them to this. To do that, I would have to first select the nursing group set. And then I can go to the top, click groups and create group. So now there is a group for me to name underneath the nursing group set, and I will name this patient care. You can name the groups and group sets however you like to, better, to best fit your organization uh, needs and preferences. Now, if I would like to place a reference into these groups, I would go to all references on the left side, 
click on the reference that I would like to move into the group. So in this case, it is spirituality and patient care. And I'll drag that into the patient care group. Now, when I click on patient care, I will only see the reference that I've placed in there. If you have any questions regarding EndNote, please be sure to visit liveguides.pace.edu slash EndNote.